In this video, we will explore What is an industrial boiler, and how does it operate? Firstly, let's delve into the concept of heat. Heat is a crucial element in our daily lives, whether it's for heating our homes or cooking food. We all use heat to some extent in our daily lives. Water and steam are excellent heat carriers and environmentally friendly. The boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure is 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's put the lid back on the pot to adjust the pressure for boiling water. We can increase the boiling temperature of water. This is how a pressure cooker works. A pot with a lid increases the pressure, thereby raising the boiling temperature of water, allowing food to cook faster compared to using a regular open pot. Now, how does a pressure cooker compare to an industrial boiler? To begin, we need to acknowledge that industrial boilers can withstand much higher pressures than pressure cookers. Industrial boilers are typically constructed by welding thick steel plates together to enable them to operate under high pressure. Boilers must be robust and durable to withstand high pressure, preventing them from exploding like a bomb. Let's start by understanding what a boiler is and how it works. Before we continue with this video, if you enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive the latest insights into boilers, the steam industry, and other experiences we've gained over the years so you won't miss any of our videos. The function of a boiler is to produce hot water or steam. Hot water boilers heat water for daily or commercial use and steam provide energy for power generator turbines and supply heat to various industrial sectors. To comprehend the role of steam, let's think about a power plant utilizing a steam turbine. When steam passes through the turbine blades, the energy in the steam will rotate the turbine blades. Steam carries a substantial amount of energy, making the turbine operate efficiently. Additionally, depending on the type of fuel used for boiling water, it will also help us save energy. There are various types of boilers applied to diverse needs. We will discuss some boiler types and how they generate heat. Therefore, you can explore and become acquainted with them on your own and may recognize them accurately. Firstly, the fire tube boiler. The typical structure of this type of boiler includes a combustion chamber, a water-containing chamber that functions as a boiler and smoke tubes. Tubes immersed in water carry heat from the combustion chamber, and smoke tubes allow smoke to be discharged during the burning process, helping control the pressure within the combustion chamber without exceeding permissible levels. Now, when fuel is burned inside the combustion chamber, the tubes play a role in transmitting heat from the combustion chamber to the water in the tank. Once heated, water is converted to steam, which is then directed to the point of use through a piping system. Fire tube boilers are the easiest to understand, typically used for low to medium pressure due to limitations in the thickness of the outer shell, affecting pressure bearing capacity. We've covered fire tube boilers. Now, let's move on to water tube boilers. The design is quite similar to fire tube boilers, but instead of using tubes with hot smoke inside to heat water in the tank, water tube boilers have tubes with water inside, heated by the combustion chamber. Similarly, the burning of fuel in the combustion chamber heats the water tubes inside, and when water is boiled, steam is produced and transported to the point of use through a piping system. Water tube boilers have a higher steam generation rate than fire tube boilers, but they are more complex and require stricter water quality compared to fire tube boilers. The water may need to be treated very carefully for the process to be carried out most efficiently. The combustion process involves burning fuel to initiate a combustion reaction, requiring both heat fuel and oxygen. Boilers can be designed to burn specific types of fuel, utilizing various technologies. The critical component to consider here is the fuel source. Fuel is one of the most vital elements in boilers and is what is burned inside the combustion chamber to generate heat. Various fuel sources are used, with coal being a standard source. 
Additionally, there are biomass fuels, oil, gas, and natural gas used in industrial boilers. Fuels are often ground into small particles to enhance combustion efficiency compared to using traditional raw fuels. Electricity can also be used as a heat source, employing resistive heating coils or electrodes. The electricity is usually used for small commercial or household purposes. To efficiently utilize electrodes, high requirements for water quality and electrical conductivity are essential. Maintenance is also a significant factor when using electrodes, requiring cleaning of insulating materials to prevent electrical discharge between electrodes. The gas-fired boiler operates by using propane or natural gas, while the oil-fired boiler operates using liquid fuel sourced from petroleum. So, let's summarize some key points learned in this video. Boilers are highly diverse, versatile, and essential technical devices, not only used in daily life but also extensively in commercial and industrial settings. There are numerous applications for boilers, including use in the food industry. Different stages of food production require heating or cooking during processing. Another interesting application of boilers is in brewing beer. In the beer production process, malt needs to be crushed and mixed with water called mashing. Then, this mixture is heated with steam for several hours before yeast is introduced to activate the fermentation process. To generate heat, we need a heat source. The combustion reaction requires heat fuel and oxygen. The elements help retain the heat generated continuously by burning water tubes and using fire tubes to heat a water tank. Steam is produced at extremely high pressure to create a vast amount of energy. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button to receive the latest insights into boilers, the steam industry, and other experiences we've gained over the years. If you have any questions that need clarification, please leave a comment below. We will create detailed videos addressing those topics to help you understand them better.